When you log into Optimizer, the dashboard is always going to be the first thing you see. This is your multi-account dashboard, and it can show all of your accounts, your favorite accounts, your AdWords or your Bing Ads accounts. It can also include data from Google Analytics alongside each of the ad accounts. You can change your date ranges, the networks or the devices, and you can also take a look at any alerts that are active for your accounts. The first time you log in here, you'll probably want to customize this a bit by enabling some of the columns that you care about. For example, we have target monthly budgets for the accounts that we manage. We want to stay on top of budget pacing and we do a lot of cost per acquisition. So we want to see that column as well. If I have some Google Analytics data, I can turn it on from right here. Once I've done this, I'm going to hit the save button to make sure that the next time I come back to this page, it loads up with the same settings. Now, if I wanted to change my target monthly budgets, I can just click on here and change that number. Or I can also make these changes in bulk using the bulk editing section. Here I can change things like the monthly budget, the account owner, what date of the month is considered the first day of a, a budget period, some tags to help me filter these accounts, and some notes to help me stay in touch with my team about some of the things we need to know about these accounts that we work on together. Click done to go back to the main page. Now you can hover over each of these columns and you'll get a little bit more information about what's going on. For example, you can see the spend and how it's been going over the past couple of days. From here, you can also set some alerts. So for example, let's take one of the accounts with a bit more data, like this one, and let's set uh, an alert here for cost per conversion. So even if I don't have a strict cost per conversion target, I can still say, let me start off with performance from the last four weeks, plus minus some percentage, and then say who needs to be notified in case something happens. At that point, we can start monitoring. Now notice we have two shades of red. Light shade of red means there is only one issue. So in this case, that number is trending up, which is the wrong direction in this case. If it's a deep shade of red, it means there's two issues. It means we're missing the target and it's also continuing to trend in the wrong direction. So then you get this sort of notification. From here, if you make a fix and you think you've resolved what's at issue, you can simply hit the snooze button snooze it for a number of days and that helps you to get new data for the account and then hopefully the alert will no longer exist. If you'd also like to see things that are going well or things that are below targets that you've set, you can click on show all alerts and that will include green things on this view as well. If you want to do a date range comparison, compare the numbers to a previous period or the same period of last year or even a custom period, make sure you're on the start accounts, your favorites view, and then you can toggle this on and then instead of showing the absolute numbers, we're going to show you the relative change percentage-wise and the absolute change in actual numbers versus the last period.